probably for the best you don't come by here for a week or two. Why? Uh, I've, I've always been a weird guy, to, to say the least. He took and was asking about you over at the open purse and paid a handsome amount of gold. I haven't been seen in almost six days. I've had to make something I fit into rather than try to fit in. I've had to help create a group that I can fit in with and that I can understand. Do you think that's what happened with the D&D group? second year in college and I think I had three friends that I didn't come here with and so like I knew nobody I was not doing anything Players, this is your game master speaking. My name's Jesse, the guy that ran this group at the beginning those three-ish years ago, and I'll be doing my best over the next few minutes to explain what in the hell is going on in the footage to come. I think a flail was a D8, right? Damage? By D8, he means an eight-sided die. At its mechanical core, D&D is a game of dice rolling and chance. Dice are not feeling cannibalism. But in its next most outer layer, it's a game of imagination. To me, so he's my barbarian. Uh, he died uh, to. Uh, what did he die to? Tear. Died to Tear. Uh, our good friend Tear. Tear uh, had lost everything at that point. He lost his family due to uh, circumstances. He lost his dog because we're idiots. He called out to the gods, and the gods didn't answer anything. He was upset, so we called out to the, the Void, which is where Baphomet is. The Prince of Beasts, the... I forget his other titles, the Horned King, that's the other one. He kills a guard when we're trying to escape this place, and we wanted to get out of there clean. No blood on our hands. Um, and he leaves, he, he flees, realizing what he's done. And so me and Ark can go chase after him. And we're in a place called the Frostmourne. As you can guess, it's quite cold. Uh, so we're out there fighting him. Um, I'm take I'm tanking a lot of damage. Arkin is dealing a lot of damage. Um, we get him down. But then we don't get him down. Then he comes back as like a demon werewolf, which is the whole thing in itself. He comes back to life and starts wailing on me and Arkin. I die first. Arkin thinks he kills him. Uh, Tyr has an ability that lets him come back at least once. Comes back. Kills Arkin. And it was up to our little, our little halfling friend, Bariot, to do the final blow. Did he do it? Yeah. He had a magical god sword and he shoved it right through his chest and then Tyr was all honky dory again. And then we were still dead. Oh. They forgave him rather quickly. That should be reinstated, that he was forgiven rather quickly. Did you forgive him? Oh, yeah. Tear or Daniel? Tear. Why? Um, because he came back. <laughs> 